Hello and welcome back. We're going to go over Denny Hamlin today. Yay. Look at that. Those great stats. Five stars, zero wins, zero top five, zero top ten, zero stage wins. Oh, yes, Denny. Such a great year. When you're behind Corey LaJoy, Justin Hay. Denny should be ahead of pretty much all these guys. The fact that Larson's 12th in points, that's a little uh, surprise. I just don't know what he's doing. Like, Daytona, not his fault, got wrecked. I don't know what Brad was doing there. He pushed Burton too hard. Burton hit Hamlin, and yeah. And then you got um, Auto Club. I mean, okay car, but just didn't have a good enough car to be in, in contention for the win. And then go to Vegas. Oh, downshift off the pit. What are you doing? He broke the transaxle. And then, uh, what's the next race you go to? Um, Phoenix? Oh, yeah. Best car on... Well, not best car, but he had a great car. And then, oh, yeah. Choke it away with a speeding penalty. Finished 13th. And then go to Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Let's push Kyle Larson extremely hard off turn four and wreck him. No. What are you doing? Idiot. Being a Hamlin fan right now is really hard. Like, when are we ever going to get there? It's like, and also, I don't agree with what Atlanta's doing. If you're going to put a track into a super speedway, um, you need to do Texas. Like, put Texas as a super speedway. I, if Texas, like, gets, you know, taken away because of, like, like, because of the people at SMI not doing a good job with it, then I'm going to be furious because I can't really do anything about, like, I can't go to a race anymore. I'd have to travel three and a half hours to go to Coda. Who knows how long that's going to stay on the schedule. Like, if there's not a race in Texas, I won't be able to attend any races at all. So, NASCAR SMI, please fix that.